Well, a lot of people felt like he was going to go be a professional kickboxer. There's more money in the UFC, <laughs> though. That's why he's here. We'll see if he can kick somebody's head off here tonight. I mean, he's going to look for it. You know, we have seen great kickboxers come into the sport. We have not seen many that come with the background, with the tradition and the history that this man has in kickboxing. He is so sure that if it's a stand-up fight in the UFC, he beats anyone. And I'm talking anyone, the best in the world. He thinks he beats them, but he's going to have to show that he can stay upright. Because this ain't kickboxing. This is mixed martial arts. you got to make sure you defend those legs or you end up spending 15 minutes laying on your back. That's right. We did have some fun in our fighter meeting. He said, would you guys prefer a, a knockout with a kick or a punch? And he said, hey, man, I mean, we want to see you throw those feet. So we'll see if he can get the knockout here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic matchup. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. But Aiden not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Here once more is first buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. And there's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we go with the early portions of this round. There is the mixed martial arts legend, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. No secret as to what he's going to be trying to do in this round. Sprawl, brawl, land his power shots. The former champion successfully defended the belt three times and believes if he can get a knockout here tonight, Dana White's going to have no choice but to put him back on the radar here at 205 pounds. Sidekick is there. Oh, spinning back fist. Connects now with the one two. And everything landed with so much power. Oh, and that's a kick to the leg. Another one. 
Pereira. Oh, a beautiful straight right hand. Alex Pereira gets caught by the inside leg. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, good body kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red. It's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Big shot to the head. Now going upstairs with the left hook. circling to his right now. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Good fight here, under two to go. Beautiful kicks. Oh, roundhouse kick, add that to his highlight reel. But it is cut off. He's wobbling now. Fast leg kick lands. Dell goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Huge body kick. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Liddell's nose is bleeding now. Oh, oh nice straight there by Pereira. 20 seconds left. He's in a lot of trouble. Final second to round one. All day, his mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious loop right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish.
Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Fighter connects there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to have. In a ton of trouble right now. No fear out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. here in round two much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket champ look at that redness underneath his elbow a lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time i like this i like this approach yeah. oh, gets tagged with a kick now let's see if he can route Goes to the body there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. Oh, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect, it's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. To the overhand right, not there. Another one. just continues to pour it well that swelling is getting out of control to that end you see the referee has paused the action likely to call on the doctor we'll see if this fight can continue champ well it's so noticeable you got to check on it you got to make sure that this fighter is able to continue now right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue it looks as though he will crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue don't I, they? I, I love it i love it when you huh. let it continue especially when you have a Ready fight that has been as fun as this to this point all right, so the ref will get the action back on the way work. after that brief health and safety. Oh, 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 with a huge knockout tonight. Holy smokes.
right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Poetak Herrera! Wow, what else can you say? about Alex Pineda. We have called most of his UFC fights, but another knockout tonight. This dude's just devastating. I mean, these moments are now starting to be